This is a ball of clay, 200 grams worth, that represents all the bacteria in your body, trillions of individuals. It's about the size of a cup of coffee, a small cup of coffee that you might get at Starbucks or whatever. Bacteria are amazing organisms. They're small, they're short-lived, but they also reproduce really fast. E. coli, which is one of the species that lives in your intestines, E. coli can double every 20 minutes. 20 minutes, that's all it takes for their population to double in mass. That doubling only happens, of course, when there's lots of food, the perfect temperature, the perfect everything. But here's a question for you. How long would it take this ball, supposing we had infinite food, how long would it take for this ball to grow to be the same mass as the entire planet Earth? If this ball were bacteria fed perfectly, it would grow to be the size of the entire Earth in just 28 hours. 28 hours and 20 something minutes. It would only take just over one day. So why then is the entire planet not just made of gray little goo? The answer is the struggle for existence. A bacterial population can only double in size when conditions are absolutely perfect. Things are never like this in the wild, at least not for very long. As the population grows, individuals start competing with each other for resources. Those who are stuck in the middle can't get any food. Life is chaos. Populations grow exponentially, but resources are limited. Let my arm be the limit of resources. As a population reaches that limit, sometimes it'll go over that limit and then it crashes and then it will level out. This limit is what we call carrying capacity. Most populations that you find in nature are at carrying capacity. Carrying capacity will fluctuate over the year as, as seasons change, as food availability changes and so on. But most organisms are at carrying capacity at any given time. What that means is that for one to come in, one has to go out. This is what Charles Darwin called the struggle for existence. And it's why natural selection is so powerful. Any mutation that gives you a slight advantage, a slight advantage at survival and reproduction, that will spread in the population. Evolution at the level of populations is a ratcheting process. Members of that population get better and better and better at surviving and reproducing within their specific environment as time passes on. As generations turn over and over and over again, positive mutations accumulate while negative mutations are constantly discarded. 